हियर स्टूडेंट्स टुडे आई प्रकाश बिड़ला असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर ऑफ टेक्सटाइल टेक्नोलॉजी डिपार्टमेंट एम एल यू टेक्सटाइल इंस्टीट्यूट भीलवाड़ा डिस्कस द अबाउट द पॉली प्रोपाइलिन मैन्युफैक्चरिंग प्रोसेसेस एंड देयर प्रॉपर्टीज एंड एप्लीकेशंस polypropylene is the first stereo regular polymer uh, to have achieved the industrial importance stereo regular means the some side chain may results and because of that the closure packing of the molecules is not uh, easily achieved so that's why you can say the later years of the uh, even the discovery of this polypropylene polymer around 1970s polypropylene fiber get commercialized and now it becomes an important uh, member of the rapidly growing synthetic fibers uh, family uh, you can consider it is it's it got the fourth spot Uh, amongst the consumption means the polyester then the acrylic and nylons and then uh, polypropylene because of its majorly uh, ap major application is the industrial uses and but having also trying to you can say researchers are trying to make the use in also the apparel garments the polymer from the por uh, propylene in the industrial de or developments or initial developments or at, uh, attempts you can say not found uh, very successful you can say the reason being the polymer as produced are having big size side chains or the uh, or you can say simply the essential requirements which is uh, need to be a successful uh, textile fiber formation is not present in the substance as uh, the polypropylene uh, produced uh, by the in, in the initial uh, polymerization processes but in the later years the ziegler and nata in around 1950s led to the some preparation of this uh, some special catalyst system which by which by which using that uh, particular catalyst system the polypropylene can be produced uh, with the requisite uh, essential properties and in the later years also the some developments are work uh, carried out in the process technology and technology developments and by which the more better uh, stereo specific polymer particularly the isotactic uh, polymer with increased quantity and the reduced the other the syndio and atactic polymers were produced now the polymerization techniques Uh, propylene the monomer of uh, polypropylene is liquefiable hydrocarbon gas which is boil at uh, minus 47 degree centigrade means at uh, minus 47 degree below than that uh, you can say the it remain, remain in the liquid state and it is used at the time of polymerization the amongst the various sources of the propyl uh, propylene gas or means particularly it's a petroleum product and by the hydrocarbon the pure propylene gas is separated from that and amongst the various available hydrocarbon mixtures the a mixture with the isobutene is found to be most suitable for the production of uh, polypropylene for polymer grade polypropylene uh, polymer grade propylene gas should be at least 99.5% pure and by super fraction the propylene gas is separated from its uh, mix, uh, you can say the propane and uh, propene or other mixtures and now the stereo spe spe specific polymerization what does mean it the stereo specific you can say the propylene the n number of molecules by the addition polymerization results in a long chain polymer of propylene and but here you can say in the three possible structure it can be formed here you can say one of the first is the atactic or stereo random polymer and you can see here 
the in the main backbone chain of the CH CH2 CH CS2 and the methyl groups are randomly arranged okay and here the methyl groups are randomly arranged uh, along the chain and in case of second attachment or second uh, polymerization uh, polymer that is the syndiotactic that is uh, you can say the alternatively the methyl groups are al arranged along the main backbone chain now the third one isotactic polymer which is more uh, interest in, in the production of polypropylene you can see the all the methyl groups are uh, you can say on one side in one plane along the chain alternatively arranged uh, alternate on uh, attached on alternative carbon atom and you can see here all methyl groups are arranged on one side so that's why a closer packing of the molecules is possible during the fiber formation or you can see this during spinning and in the post spinning this crystalline uh, crystallizability or you can see the crystal, uh, crystalline area can be increased or ordered regions can be improved in the final fiber structure so uh, the you can say uh, uh, mechanical properties of the final product is as per the requirement uh, by using the stereo uh, for the production of this the spe stereo specific uh, polymers a stereo specific catalyst system as developed by the Ziegler and Nata uh, is used for the polymerization and you can say it's a um, most uh, commonly Ziegler and Nata used catalyst system are a halide of the transition metal of the fourth group of periodic table means the halide is uh, combined with the uh, one of the metal which is from belongs to the fourth periodic table and another is the another component is of the catalyst system is organometallic organometallic compound and a metal belonging to one of the three first groups of the periodic table and organometallic metallic compounds are you can say the aluminium r3 aluminium r2 into r2x beryllium r2 and uh, it is combined with the titanium trichloride or another mixture other another other another possible combination is the you can say the titanium tetrachloride plus aluminium alkyl trialkyl aluminium dialkyl halide beryllium dialkyl or lithium alkyl or vanadium chloride another option you can say it is combined with again the aluminium trialkyl aluminium dialkyl halide or lithium alkyl you can say R belongs to the alkyl and X belongs to the halide group. Now the polymerization process industrially used, they are the two commonly used industrial processes. Uh, one is the continuous suspension polymerization process. First, suspension polymerization process you can say and it is carried out in continuous manner so that is uh, continuous polymerization process. Uh, most propylene production is carried out in hydrocarbon diluents such as hexane or an heptane because isotactic polypropylene is insoluble in an heptane while the atactic polypropylene is soluble means during the polymerization these two polymer combinations polymer for, uh, structure may be formed say isotactic polypropylene and atactic polypropylene atactic propylene polypropylene is soluble in uh, dilute hydrocarbon dilute so that's why this such type of solvents is used to remove in the later stage of the polymerization uh, the atactic polymer is dis get dissolved in that so is get it can be removed easily and in the uh, polymerization process you can see the diagram uh, vessel 1 vessel 2 vessel 3 uh, vessel 1 is the polymerizer and vessel 2 is the flash tank and third is the finisher uh, vessel you can say in the polymerization tank uh, a purified propylene ga gas purified condition yes 99.5 propylene uh, purified propylene gas is uh, fed to the uh, polymerizer with along with the catalyst means the small quantity of the catalyst that slurried or get dissolved in the you can say uh, slurried in the not dissolved slurried in the su suitable solvent that is the anheptane or hexane and a diluent as a solvent is fed to the polymerizer 
and at suitable temperature and pressure say 50 to 80 degrees centigrade temperature and uh, 2 to 4 atm pressure is used at a moderate condition of temperature is preferable because high temperature rate increases the rate of polymerization but also increases the amount of atactic polymer so after few hours and this uh, the uh, as the polymerization start grows starts uh, the polymer particles start to grow on the catalyst uh, fine particles and as the polymer particles grow that is grounded or you can say uh, bottom out continuously in the polymerizer at which is continuously separated from the uh, polymerizer and fed to the flash tank.